This is the Hey Ed YouTube channel, and I am your host, moderator, and all-around nice guy, Edward Anderson. Okay, this is another episode of Trading Tricks, where I share with you some tricks of the trading world. Now, some of my videos are going to be kind of general in nature, and some of them are going to be very specific, uh, but it's all, I think, going to be very useful for you. In this uh, video, I thought I would talk to you about the evolution of the modern trader. Please listen to this because I think you'll find it very fascinating. It just so happened that I started my career in October of 1987. So my career uh, really spans a very important uh, developmental stage of the modern trader. And I was there for all of it. <laughs> I had a front row seat to the entire evolutionary process that leads to the modern trader. Uh, you have to understand that you have opportunities here as a trader that never really existed before in history. Uh, the opportunities that you have right now, now for trading is unique, uh, historically speaking, and it's an amazing time to be a trader. The opportunities are, are, are just incredible. They just go on and on and on. These opportunities weren't around just a very short time ago. All right, so when I started in the industry in 1987, um, I started at a, a little what they call boiler room, right? As a matter of fact, if you want to get a little taste of my uh, start in the business, go rent the movie Boiler Room. You have a really good taste of uh, what it was like. And in case you're curious, that was the era of Jordan Belfort, you know, the Wolf of Wall Street. And yes, I knew uh, Jordan Belfort, uh, not uh, real closely, but uh, um, he was a, a distant acquaintance uh, and we crossed paths uh, a few times. Never never worked for him, uh, but I knew who he was and, uh, and it was a fascinating uh, part of my career, that whole period there. Before too long, I went to work for a top line blue chip brokerage uh, firm. And we had all the latest technology. And me and three other brokers in the office, we shared what was called a Quotron machine. All right. We had, all had our little cubicles. And when we wanted a, a quote on a stock, we would have to get up, walk over to the Quotron machine and plug in the, uh, the, you know, the symbol and get the quote. And if someone else is in front of us, we would have to wait our turn uh, to get the quote. And that was cutting edge stuff. OK, we thought that that was a really big deal, uh, getting access to that kind of technology. The real trading information, you know, the level two information that, that everyone has, has access to today was not available uh, to the public, certainly. It wasn't even available to uh, brokers at these, at these firms. Only the back office trading rooms would have access to that level two information. Then as time went on, uh, eventually a man by the name of Harvey Houtkin sued the SEC uh, so that the average person, the public, can get access to that same level two information that, that was only enjoyed by a very few traders in the back room of the big brokerage firms. And he eventually won. It was a very long drawn out uh, battle. And all modern traders should be sending a gift basket to this gentleman and you know every Christmas uh, because of what he did. He opened up the industry to the average person. And then soon after that, the SEC created uh, what's called the SOES system. SOES is an acronym, S-O-E-S, that stands for Small Order Execution System. And those little SOES uh, systems were made available to a small number of, of private parties throughout the country, because the SOES system was an outgrowth of the crash of 1987. Then what they would do is, the next, the next time we had some kind of a crash, then the small orders would be shipped out to the little souls shops, they were called, and, and they would handle the smaller orders. Any orders for a thousand shares or less, they would have to honor. And that was a way of making sure that, that the average person got taken care of in the event of another crash. And I actually went to work for one of the only souls uh, shops uh, in the country. And that's where I started teaching classes. And anyway, we started making the uh, the information that was available to us through the soul system to the public, all right? And that was really the start of the modern trader. The average person now had, ac had access to the same trading information that was once reserved only to a very few people in the back room of the big brokerage firms. Now the average guy could get a hold of it. And then a few years after that, 
it was start, it started to become mainstream and people could start accessing that information at home instead of having to go into a uh, shop, into an office space in order to get access to that information. Now people can do it from, uh, from home. So right at the turn of the century, around 1998 to 2001, 2002, people started to be able to access level two information from their home computer inside of their houses. Okay, now they couldn't quite do it uh, off a laptop yet. Technology wasn't there for that yet. But people could now start trading out of the comfort of their home using the same information that only a very few people had prior to that. And that was the real revolution. That's when the average person had the same advantage to the traders uh, on Wall Street, except the educational part. And that's where I came in. I stepped in, I, I started teaching a class showing the average person. Uh, how to actually trade. I mean, they had access now to this really powerful technology, but they didn't really know what to do with it. It's kind of like, like giving a hand grenade to a kid. All right? It's real powerful stuff, but they didn't know how to handle it. And that's where education played uh, an important role. And now over the past 15 years or so, the average person has been accessed not only to the same technology, but the same education that the big guys have in Wall Street. Okay. And not on YouTube now, you can watch YouTube videos by some pretty good traders out there sharing information for free, including me, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to be giving you some really good insight, really good tricks of the trade. So that's why you want to be paying attention to my videos, okay? I'm going to be showing you a lot of cool stuff that's not taught uh, in the books. I'm going to be showing you tricks of the trade, uh, trading tricks, right? So, so the last uh, two decades really has been kind of the birth of the uh, of the modern trader. And, and I don't think you really appreciate what you have in your hand. You have access to information and trading ability that was not available to very many people at all uh, as recently as 20 years ago. So we live right now in an incredible period of opportunity. If you want to trade, the world is your oyster, okay? You just have to learn how to use it, right? And I'm going to be covering more of that in my videos, my trading trick videos. So stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell, okay? And make sure you give my videos a like, okay? Edward Anderson signing out. Copy that. Copy that.